channel. Today is Monday, June the 28th. Yeah, June the 28th. Um, I know it's been a few weeks since I last did an update and there's a good reason for that. It's because uh, my stitchy bug has just been kind of meh. Um, I haven't even really been doing any time in painting. I haven't been doing a lot of stitching. Um, however, I mean, I did do stitching for the first week or so. It was fine. Um, but then I tried to do a, like a challenge in the Cross Stitch Daily 30 group. Um, and it was the coffee week, coffee week event. And normally it does run for two weeks, but a lot of people were having trouble posting in the uh, event. So they did extend it out for a week. It didn't matter because I didn't do anything on it th that last week. So, um, I do have a lot of, um, whips to show you, um, a little bit of haul, um, and then who knows what else will come after that. I do know. I will do um, my three um, pick one questions at the end of the video. So I'm just, I'm over here looking at my, um, at my cart. There's a lot. Um, so let me get on with it because I got a lot to show you. Um, Abby's been down for maybe about 45 minutes and with her it's always hard to tell how long she's going to sleep. The first nap she took this morning she was down for like three hours so I think this nap probably be a good bit shorter so I'm going to get on with it and hopefully she'll stay asleep. If not I'll just have to go get her. <laughs> so you may or may not see a baby in this video. We'll see. Um. So, where should I start? I'm going to semi-start at the beginning, I guess. Um, I honestly have no idea. Y'all, I swear, I have so many whips over here that need that y'all need to see, <laughs> that I need to show you. I honestly don't know where to start. Um, just, just to give you an idea. Instead of trying to turn the camera, I'm going to just turn the whole thing. Pay no attention to my my messy table. See that? <laughs> All these whips I need to show you. <laughs> it's a lot, I know. Um, but let's just start at the beginning. So the first thing up is going to be the um, Sweet Dreams by Lavender and Lace. No, I don't even have this in an envelope yet because I've literally only been working with white. So, this is what she looks like. Joann's is going to be having a sale. If you see this before July 1st, or before the 4th actually, um, Joann's is going to be having a sale on their DMC Floss. It's one of those too low to show sales, which since the latest price hike, um, usually means, I think somebody said, usually means like 40 cents a skein instead of 60. So, I'm going to take that opportunity to go this weekend and get some floss for her. Um, and then actually put her in an envelope and, and whatnot. So, um, if I can find a photo, I will put it in a photo of what she looked like last time you saw her. I didn't have a lot done. I had maybe a few rows. But, this is where she's at right now. <clears throat> This is the, um, the baby gown, and there's a lot more to do, like, over here, too. Yes, I know. Somebody has already seen it, and yes, I know. This line right here, there's a stitch right there that I accidentally made white, and it's supposed to be, like, a different color. So, I'm just literally just going to go right over it, whatever this color is that's supposed to be here. It's, it goes down right there. I'm just gonna go over it with the with the color that it's supposed to be. I don't think it's gonna be a very big difference. It's gonna be like a shading color, but yes, I know that's there. So this is where she's at right now. So not a ton of not a ton of progress, but enough. So 
I'm loving this fabric, y'all. I did this is one of the fabrics that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um and this is the 32 count Belfast in it's technically Zweigart fabric, but they have it listed as their their brand. Uh, let's see. It's uh Artiste. Yeah. <clears throat> Artiste. Um but it is technically Zweigart fabric and I love stitching on this fabric so much. It's it's so nice to work with. As opposed to the last time I tried to do a lavender and lace. That one didn't go so well. So, natural Zweigart Belfast linen. Yeah, the 32 count, sorry. Yeah, 32 count is Belfast. So, that's where she's at right now. Um, Like I said, I don't even have a project envelope for her yet. Although, I mean, I do have some project envelopes available. I just don't have her in one because I literally only have the white floss picked right now. Actually, no, I take that back. I have two flosses picked. So, the next one you're going to see is one that I just up and decided to pull out one day. It felt like working on it. Um, and that is um, Lamb's Advent. This is from the... I like how they put it at the bottom. I did print this off in digital, digital magazine. Um, this is from the December 2015 Just Cross Stitch. So, if you like what you see. However, keep in mind, these colors, that right there, it does look like kind, kind of a mustardy color. It's really a, a dark, like, brownish green color. <laughs> so, call for color is 610, I believe. And I've got, um, the call for color of that is 610 in DMC or, um, General Arts Cider Mill Brown. That looks nothing like the color that it's supposed to be. Um, however, this, I have a limited edition color picked for that color anyway, so it's like that right there. It's, it's, I haven't started on the hill, so don't worry about it. Um, but that's what the whole thing looked like. I don't know if I have a picture of where it was before I started working on it. I mean, I could tell you, but this is where it's at now. Obviously, I've done the house except for the back stitching and the windows and whatnot. Um, and a couple of stars. These are the lamb spaces. So, that is that. Um, and if I didn't have a picture to show you at the beginning, I think when I first started this in March, this was a March start from this year. Um, when I first started it, I literally only had like the main building of the house done. I didn't have the windows or the roof or anything, any of that. I just literally had this kind of white and creamy shade of the main house building so and this is on i'm doing this with one strand i believe this is an 18 count ada i don't know what the color is i've completely forgotten if i find out i'll i'll let you know, i'll put it down there so but that is my progress on that I have haul like literally right here beside me so I had to put my stitches over there a little bit um the next thing that I have to show I told you I'm literally just going in order here um these next things I did work on for the um coffee week in daily 30 um I was trying to get 200 stitches in everything that I stitched on this one, I didn't get 200 stitches. I got 83 stitches in it. Can you tell what those 83 stitches were? <laughs> Literally didn't get much done on this. Just that right there. So I am gonna finish, at least finish this motif before I put it away. At least that. 
even if I have to force myself. But, but this is the, um, I call it Historic Countries um, Mystery Stitch Along because it came out in the um, Gift of Stitching magazine and it was released one part a month for 12 months. And each month is sampler motifs and styles from different countries. I believe this is Germany, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember. So, but this is where it's at right now. This is on a 40 count pictures plus, I want to say legacy. Um, don't quote me on that one. My, my heart wants to say legacy. So, yeah. That's all she wrote. <laughs> That's all I've gotten done on her. Um, over here. This is going to add up very quickly. Um, this next one I brought out because I do want to work on it to a finish. Um, because I actually had it out before, before Daily 30. But I wanted to use it as my non-counting um, piece for the daily 30 to work on for 30 minutes a day for five different days in that two weeks time span. Still didn't even get it done. Still didn't even get that done. I think I worked on it for four days. Um, but, I mean, I was getting more than 30 minutes a day on those four days. At least 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I guess I could show you what the main thing is. This is called Spike Spiegel. And since I can never remember the name of the shop that I got it from, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to write it down on a piece of paper or something because this is not working. I don't know. I can never remember the name of the shop. Um, but I will insert a picture of the last time you saw him if I can find one. This is where he's at right now. This is where he's at right now. Um, yes. 18 count black Ada. Um, the color that I'm using, which is makes up probably 95% of this pattern is uh, 3865, right? Mm, I think so. Or 3685. Oh, please. That's gonna bug me. Thirty-eight forty-five. My bad. So that's the color that I'm using on him. I mean, that's the call for color. So that is his progress right now. I'm still gonna keep him out because part of me still wants to work on him from time to time. Um. So yeah. Not bad looking. Um. So that is that. And yes, I keep my pattern out for some reason, unbeknownst to me. So that's all the projects that I still have out on the Q-Snaps ready to work on. Um, the rest I'm gonna, what I'm going to show you is going to be like stuff that's, that I'm done working on at the moment. Um, that's the Christmas out. I have not touched that. Um, this one. So, I knew what I was going to do. Let me, let me do this first. So, if you guys remember, I was, um, working on Watery Tart for my Daily 30. And I kind of got a little bit burnt out on it because it's black and more black and more black. Um, and I got burnt out on it. Could 
show you the picture. Um, this is kind of far away, but this is it, basically. Um, I, I'll insert a picture. Um, but I just, I got burnt out on it, even working on it 30 minutes a day. And I was trying to do more than 30 minutes a day on it. Um, but I told myself if I can at least manage that 30 minutes a day, then I'll be okay. I still got burnt out on it. So I decided to put it away and make something else my daily 30. Well, my intention was to make Lamb's Advent my daily 30. And so far, I mean, I, I, I went in hard on it that first day that I pulled it out. Um, and worked on it for several hours. Um, since then, I've worked on it a few days, a handful of days. Um, but not 30 minutes every day. And that's part of the problem from the last couple of weeks. So, um, I'm going to try to find a picture of where it was that last time you saw it. I have started to realize that I don't know why this thing isn't centered. I don't know why it's centered because I thought I centered it. So this is where it's at right now. I have gotten a lot done. Since I picked this up for my daily 30, I have gotten it a lot done. Like I got from like, from this line down, I got all that done. So I am proud of myself for that at least. I did get, I did knock out a huge chunk, but there's still like, her, there's still a tail down here at the bottom and it, the circle wraps around. Um, there's obviously still some text left in the middle and then there's shading. There's different colors with shading, like different colors of gray. So she, she's, she's further along than she was, but she's still a far way away from being done. So, so that is where she's at right now. And this is from Crafter Dark on Etsy, I believe. I think, pretty sure. Um, so there's that one. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the Daily 30, y'all. I kind of still want to um, take part in it, but at the same time, my stitchy bug hasn't been consistent. I've just been not doing a lot of stitching every day. There's been days in a row where I haven't done any stitching. So, I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do about that. So... The first thing, well, no, not the first thing. The first thing I was, the, um, historic countries, that was the first thing that I showed you that was from that, um, weekly challenge. The next thing I worked on, I actually used for two different, uh, challenges. Um, one was brown. And the other thing was something old, I believe. The Historic Countries one, what I was stitching on, I used that one for like your second biggest whip. Now, I have a lot of huge whips. I, I, ha I have a few baps. So, it was kind of difficult to figure out which one was my second biggest. Um, but in the end, I was just like, you know what? A lot of them are pretty close in size, so... I just picked the one that I felt like working on the most. Um, but this one I actually did two, um, did for two challenges, 200 stitches for each challenge. So a total of 400 stitches. I think my final total was like 435 or something like that. <clears throat> Sorry. I was getting a tickle in my throat. I felt a cough coming on. Um, so yeah, I think the final total was 435. Um, I could show you what the actual design is. I told y'all, I'm just not with it today. For some reason, I'm just not with it. So I did work on this. 
Last Ditch Cemetery by Hensite. When last you saw, I had this guy, like the stitches stitched. I didn't have any back stitching on it. Still don't have any back stitching on it. Um, and then I had the, like, the tan, like the outermost tan outline stitch. So, this is my progress. Not so far. Got a lot done. <laughs> um, I filled in some more of the outer part of that tombstone. Did some more of the fencing behind it. Did a lot. So, it's hard to believe just that little bit, like... Like, all that could be, like, 400 stitches. It's hard to believe. So. This is being done on a 32 count under the sea fabrics. Belfast. I want to say Zephyrus. I always forget. But it's a, it's a 32 count um, under the sea fabrics. Really pretty. Sorry for the wrinkles. I'm not an, I'm not an ironer. So, you can kind of see the modeling there. So, I said that one was used for two different challenges. Um, I did have some fun switching on that. Um, and then I think the final one that I have to show you today. Right. I think the final one that I have to show you today is what I stitched for... Did I show you this already? I think I showed you this already. I'll show you this again. But, I stitched on this for the first week in June. Um, as part of the, um, Blackbird Designs Weekend South. That's where it's at right now. I know the last time I worked on this, I got these, these three, the vine, these, these three flowers and the vine that connects them. That's what I got done last time. Hey guys, so, um, it's a little bit later in the day than it was when I recorded that last clip. Um, but I needed to kind of butt in here and, um, explain that in my haste, to show you something that I thought I had already shown you. I kind of forgot to mention a lot of things and I did go back and have to realize that I hadn't shown you my progress on that piece. Um, because my last update that I actually showed that was um, prior to the June um, weekend for the Blackboard Design Weekend style. Um, Got my room here, and that's when I actually worked on it. Um, I did do 234 stitches in the vine to finish off that um, part of the top border, and I did that for the prompt of stitching on something with seeds or something grown from seeds. Sorry, and then I did the flowers, I completed the flowers. Um, in that section for the um, weekend sale that weekend, that same weekend. So, so yes, I have had progress on it since you last saw it. I apologize if I kind of rushed through that. Um, the name of that design is Winter is Past, and I'm stitching it on a 36 count Edinburgh in um, Dirt Road by Seraphim Fabrics. So, um, I just wanted to kind of um, butt in here and um, kind of update you guys on that because I thought I had shown it before but I must have been thinking about when I took the pictures for it when I took the pictures of it for the um the prompt to post in the group so no you haven't seen it since I um did that little bit um and uh so yeah just had to um, update you guys on that and I will turn you back to the video 
and it'll be coming back out again this coming weekend since it'll be the first weekend in July. So I think I already showed y'all that. If I did, I apologize. But it's a pretty, pretty sampler to look at at least. Um, so yeah, that is all I've been working on. That's everything I've been working on. Um, last Dish Cemetery is going to get put back on the shelf. Spike is going to stay out because a part of me wants to keep working on him. Um, because he isn't hard. He's still pretty easy. He's still pretty easy, even if he is on black fabric. Um, so I'm going to keep him out, definitely. I'm having to do some rearranging here. Um, this one is going to stay out. Oh, should I? My OCD wants me to leave this out to at least finish that motif. Nope. I'm not doing it. I'm going to go ahead and put it away. Told y'all. It's just been rough. Like... Oh, and did I tell y'all? I actually found, when I was doing the cat sampler that I finished recently, the dinky dye silk that I picked for one of the grays, I actually noticed it's the called for silk for that. For this whole row, as a matter of fact. So, it's um, dinky dye's charcoal. So, <laughs> this is actually the called for silk. So, this sample will probably be a mix of DMC and silks. So, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what else comes up. Because I actually have amassed a collection of dinky dye silks. Even if I don't have the call for, I may or may not substitute for a dinky dye silk that's close to the call for. If I have something that's suitable. Yeah, as you can see, this is this is why I say it's my one my one of my larger whips because. It takes up a pretty good sized piece of fabric. Well, open. Ram's Advent is going to stay out because I do part of me does want to work on it so that one's going to stay out as well as Sweet Dreams so those are what is going to stay on my cart belts down here and my dime guard here okay. so that is everything I've been working on um as far as haul I don't have a whole lot I have a little bit not a lot I've, I've been buying stuff that's not cross stitch related and I'll, 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 I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but as far as haul, I got, just the other day, I got the August issue of Just Cross Stitch. Um, I'm not going to do a flip through because 
I don't feel like doing one. Um, I'll kind of, I'll turn to the back and kind of give you an idea of what's in here. This one's kind of pretty. I just don't think I like the saying, the, the what's on it. I don't know. I kind of like that one, but I kind of don't. And then they've started in with their ornaments already. Okay. And this is part four, right? part four of the My Quaker Christmas, so. So, that's what's in this one. So, that is the August issue of Just Cross Stitch. Um, I apologize. They don't put it in the plastic bag anymore. They used to come with like all, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So, I don't know. Um, and right after my last video, I actually did get some needle minders. I had gotten, um, placed an order with Black Pear Stitchery. Because she showed these minders in the Daily 30 group. Um, so I got these. got the Daily 30 needle minder. And a unicorn with the donut. And then this was a freebie little gift. So, got those. And then somebody else showed some needle minders that I just had to get. Because Mandarin Orange needle minder. Love me a Mandarin Orange. And I had to go and find me some other ones. And these are from Caffeinated Cat Crafts on Etsy. Um, you can find her on Etsy. Black Pear Citry. You kind of see through them. She's on Instagram, Facebook, and Etsy under Black Pear Citry. And like I said, this one is Caffeinated Cat Crafts. Also on Etsy, also on Instagram. A Mandarin Orange Slice Needle Minder. Who thinks of these things? And then I had to get the banana. There's like little shaky beads in there. You can't see it, but there's shaky beads in there. And then this one is like um, a velvet, the velvet material. I thought that was really pretty, so got those. And y'all know I don't, I don't buy needle minders too much anymore, but I had to get those. And oh, that was the uh, bag. Sorry, this was the pack with the. <clears throat> some needle winders came in that I already showed you. And I just got my um, fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me in the mail the other day. Like literally like a couple of days ago. And this is such a beautiful color. I actually there's a pattern I have in mind that just recently released. And I gotta look and see what the um, dimensions of the, the pattern are, but this is such a beautiful fabric. And it's called Grog. This is the um, 40 count, 18 by 27, linen, June, neutral fabric of the month. How gorgeous is this? How gorgeous is this? That is gorgeous. On the other side. I love this. This is so pretty. So pretty. So. I really hope the dimensions of this pattern that I'm waiting on aren't too big. Because I would love to be able to put it on this. I'm not putting it in the plastic. We're going to leave it out of the plastic. So. Um... What else? I went, I did go to Hobby Lobby the other day. Um, and I actually made a trip to Joann's that same day because I thought that this past weekend 
was when they were having their sale on their floss and that's when I realized it wasn't until it was coming weekend so that was a nice little trip for no reason because my Joann's is like 45 minutes away so we go to Hobby Lobby as you can see I haven't unwrapped anything got me a tumbler with cute little flowers on it got me a tumbler um for my iced coffees um and I got me a shirt for no reason other than other than to get me a t-shirt for some reason I don't know I have no immediate plans for this maybe just to wear it so about that and then the actual stitchy stuff um I, go, I went to the cross stitch stuff as one does and I picked out some uh, fabrics. I actually had one more in my hand but I decided to put it back because I'm like, you don't actually have any plans for these fabrics. There's no sense in getting them. But I still got four of them. Um, so I got 14 count Ada in oat, vintage oat. It has some modeling. It's like a, I think it's a printed fabric. It's like it has the printed modeling on one side and it's plain on the other. And then I got 18 count vintage, which is kind of a, the gray bluey, kind of a grayish color. You can kind of see the modeling there. And then something that really shocked me, and they have this listed as embroidery linen, um, but it's from Zweigart. And embroidery linen, we all know, can still be used those cross stitch so they have 46 count bristol linen and this is called oat it's like a, a tan color oat and then they had it in ivory so 46 count i was shocked y'all i could not believe that hobby lobby was carrying 46 count fabric so, if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, go check them out. They might have 46 count. And this is a good way. As you can see, there's only $6.99. Only $6.99. See? $6.99. Um, and while Hobby Lobby is no longer doing their coupons, sometimes they have sales um, on their um, cross-stitch needlework stuff. Um... It didn't happen to be on sale when I bought these, so, you know. But, for $6.99, for somebody that's maybe wanting to see, to wanting to dip their toe into a 46 count fabric on whether, whether or not they can stitch on it or not, that's a good way to do it. Um, um, because the piece is only 11 and a half by 18. So, pick you out a nice design. You know, no, no, no embellishments or anything. Cranning's okay, but uh, pick you out a nice little design and try to stitch something on it. You know. So, um, I think that's all the haul. So, let me pause here for a, another sip of a little something to wet my throat, and I'll be right back. Okay. You would think it's been like five years since I've done, since I've talked. But I promise it hasn't been that long. I do speak every day. But for some reason, when I'm trying to do these videos, I get a tickle in my throat. And it won't go away. Um, but yeah, I have been buying stuff. Just not necessarily stitchy stuff. Um... I have, and there was a, um, a pattern that, I can't remember the lady's name, but she's a, des I think she's the designer behind, um, Scarlet House, and she posted a photo of a, a design that she just released that should be, um, um, shipping out to shops here any minute now, and 
Um, it's called A Changed World. And I will insert a picture over here. Um, I did order this from my LNS. I, well, I, I emailed my LNS, which is the Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, oh, and they they are in talks with a couple of people, like a couple, they have a couple of different buyers that are interested in the shop. Um, so they're working things out there. Um, so, sorry, that was a side note. Um, so I did email her and I asked her if they were going to be getting it for the shop or if I could possibly order one for myself, if not. And she did say they are ordering them for the shop. So she's going to set one aside for me whenever it comes in. And I told her that uh, when it does come in that I'll also be interested in getting the call for thread support as well. So I'm excited about that. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, yes, please ring me up. So that'll be coming in hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know how long it takes for cross stitch pattern orders to get to shops. So hopefully that'll be coming in soon because I'm excited. And um, that was the one that I was talking about, depending on the dimensions, because the designer didn't mention the, the dimensions of it in her post or I, or I didn't see it, but um, it's not something I'm stressing about right now. Um, but depending on the dimensions, I'm hoping it might fit onto that um, Be Stitch Me fabric. If not, I'll find something else, but um, that's one less thing I would have to buy. Um, so I will be getting that soon. And that's all the stitchy stuff that I bought. I bought a lot of other stuff, y'all. I have bought a lot of other stuff. Um, when last you saw me, I think we were going to be going mattress shopping that that weekend or something. We did get a we did get a bed. We got a, a Tempur Pedic hybrid. I think it was a Tempur Pedic hybrid, and we decided to go with a California King. We didn't know that you couldn't buy California King sheets in any store. You have to order, you have to deliberately order them online. So we had to order a sheet set from Amazon. And the funny thing was we ordered them and um, like the day that we bought the mattress, we came home and like later that night we bought the sheets. Um, and the cover that we bought arrived like a couple of days before they were to deliver the mattresses. And the sheets were supposed to arrive the night the day before, but there was a delay. And so they were either going to arrive that next day, the same day that the, the bed got delivered, or they were gonna arrive the day after the bed got delivered. Luckily, they showed up that same day the bed got delivered. Um, so we had sheets to sleep on. <laughs> um, so we did buy a bed. We did buy the, uh, the Tempur-Pedic um, hybrid. We bought the medium, not the soft, so not firm, but it's like a mid-level. Um, enjoying it so far, um, due to the fact that I'm still up and down and around with Abby sometimes during the night. I don't always sleep the best. I sometimes sleep in one position for so long that my back gets stiff, um, especially if I try to sleep on my back. But um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's definitely quiet. It's, it's nice not having a bed that squeaks every time you move. Um, or creaks. It creaks. Your bed creaked. Um, unfortunately, the, um, the, the people that delivered the mattress, we had worked out with the company to haul away our old bed. But unfortunately, as I had seen earlier that same day, they, they delivered it. If the mattress was stained, then the guys wouldn't be able to take it. So they weren't able to take our mat our old mattresses, but it's okay. We burned them out back. We, like I said, we live out in the country. We burn stuff all the time. We just burned the mattresses. <laughs> um, it's the benefits. So um, got that delivered, got that ordered. Um, 
And I haven't actually been watching a lot of floss tube because I've been watching a lot of cleaning videos. And so therefore that has spurred me on, inspired me to um, tackle some cleaning things around the house, some organization. Um, so I've bought like baskets and, and um, stuff to organize cleaning products and stuff underneath the cabinets and I've just bought all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I bought a stick vacuum which I didn't have before um, just so it make it a little bit easier for me to you know do a little quick vacuuming um, every day. Not Maybe not every day but um, a couple of times a week at least. Um, because we don't really have carpets. We have a, a rug here in the living room. Um, we have carpet in the bedroom back there. There used to be carpet in that bedroom back there, but it's being ripped out. Um, so, and plus there's so, like, it's such a tight space in here. It's really hard to just take a big vacuum, a big full-size vacuum, and trying to vacuum in these little bitty, little, little bitty spaces. So the stick vacuum is working a lot better. Um, so I bought one of those, um, and I'm enjoying it. What else? Um, I've just bought all kinds of things. I've bought things because I've been doing Instacart. I've bought things for that. I've, like a, a phone lanyard and a, a fanny pack. And, um insulated bags so I've been buying things just not necessarily stitchy things we've brought Abby's playpen back out and put away her bouncer because she does need a little bit more space to move when she was in her bouncer she was all the time trying to stretch herself to trying to grab things that were outside her reach so she was all the time twisting and, and trying to push forward and bend forward so if she she's moving a little bit too much so we decided to go ahead and just put her back in her plate pen when we need to put her down um things are going well um she's she's still healthy we're still trying to figure out how to crawl um, i know she's she's going on eight months old but we're still figuring out how to crawl. We're doing the um, baby food a couple of times a day. Um, she hasn't started. She hasn't started cutting any teeth yet. She well, she hasn't cut any teeth yet. Um, last few days, she's been kind of like sucking on her top lip, like occasionally. So we think maybe her gums are bothering her. Um, but we have a couple of teether things in there for her. Um, if she if she wants them we keep one I I got one in her playpen in here and one in her crib um, and she's she's more than able to if there's a toy that's beside her she's more she's more than capable of twisting herself around to and maneuvering herself to to get to whatever it is she wants to get to so um, sometimes she looks like she's she wants to go straight from laying on her stomach to walking because it's just the way that she pulls herself up um instead of pulling herself up on her knees um which she still tries to do she'll pull her she'll get on her knees and then she'll get up on her tiptoes like um like if you were doing a um a push-up um like the men's style push-ups they used to call it this is the guy's style push-ups not where you have your knees on the ground, but where you're from um, tiptoe to, to hands out. Um, so we don't know. She loves she loves standing. Like when we're holding her, she wants to stand on our lap. So we're still we're still making making progress in life. Um, her next appointment. Her next. Um, checkup and immunization shot isn't until nine months so got another month on that i need to call 
sometime here within the next couple of weeks and make her an appointment. Um, so that's all of that that I can think of. Andy's still at his job, um, still doing well. Um, his, I think his health insurance just kicked in, which is good. Uh, he was able to get him some new glasses. Uh, like I said, I've been watching a lot of cleaning videos. Um, and it's, oops, sorry. Um, I've been watching a lot of cleaning videos and it's, it's definitely inspiring to give you the, um, motivation to get cleaning done or get something done. Oh, and I bought, I bought a spice. I bought spice jars and I bought some shelves that hang like, separately on the wall. Um, I've actually bought two sets of three, so I bought six of them. Which I think, in hindsight, might be a little more than I needed. But, I had bought a set of 24 spice jars. And it came with the labels and the, um, the shaker lids and stuff like that. I actually need a few more because I didn't realize I had more spices than jars. So, um, I found a listing on Amazon for like 8 jars plus labels and stuff. Um, don't really need the labels or the funnel I just need the jars um, but <laughs> I guess they're gonna come with labels so I'm gonna have to order those I have to order a few more but Andy is gonna have to wait until he can get some spackle I don't know if you can see it's back there in this corner right here down below here this is this right here is the cabinet over the sink that's the sink right there and so on this wall that we keep is where we've always kept there's a shelf there and that's where we kept the spices and oil and god knows what else um just different things basically that's our that was the spice um spice shelf um and i told him that i wanted to get the jars and put them in jars so he needs to do a little bit more spackling and sanding over here even if he doesn't paint it um, I told him, I was like, I don't, I don't need it to look pretty or anything. I just wanted it to, I just wanted the spices to have their own shelves so that they could be off the floor and we could use that shelf. Sorry. Um, yes, I cut my bangs the other day, if you can't tell. Um, but, so yeah, that's, they're going to be over there. Um, and pain of mind, that, that bag sitting up there, that's, that's meant to go to Goodwill. It's just some scarves and stuff. Um, so, I, I do have shelves that will have spices on them, but the shelves just haven't been hung up yet. Because I think the shelf that's over there is technically a DVD shelf, possibly something like that. Um, because if I can get those spices up on the wall and off the floor, then we can use that shelf for like some of his games and DVDs. We, God, y'all, we have so many DVDs. And it's not just DVDs, we have games too. So, like I got my DVDs and I, I bought a shelf that was specifically for media. And I put my DVD collection and my, my little small DVD collection of my own in there because he has like these big shelves of, of all his DVDs and so I have my own little small collection. And so I put those on there and still had a good bit of room. So we started putting in like his games and stuff in there. And he still has a lot of games in this cabinet over here. And he's still got DVDs sitting on top of the cabinets. So yeah. Anyway, um, I know, I've just been rambling at this point. I apologize. Just trying to give y'all an update on how things have been going. Um, me and my mom finally went to the lawyer about the the vehicle getting the, this Jeep and transferred over to my mom's name from my stepdad's name. If you, don't, if you guys don't remember, if you're new, my stepdad um, passed away in April of last year. Um, he unfortunately took his own life. 
and we didn't realize that there was a one year time limit on being able to get property transferred over to a spouse or a relative the easy way. So after that one year time limit is up, after that one year time frame is up, God, these bangs. Um, but after that one year, you have to go through a lawyer. So my mom is essentially giving us this Jeep. It's a Jeep Liberty. I think it's a 2002. 2002 Jeep Liberty and it, it it was hers and my stepdad's but unfortunately my stepdad's name was the only one that was on the title um, and this car they bought it new they paid it off within five years or whatever however long the payment was um, so it's there's no it, not that to worry about but his name was the only one on the title so we're trying to get it transferred over to my mom's name as his widow um and then i think the lawyer was going to see about also just go ahead and putting me on there as a buyer um and somehow to make it a lot easier um not a buyer but a um like a transfer but um so, um, we did go to the lawyer and he told me a couple of things that we needed. The most important thing was we needed the funeral bill to show that it was paid. Well, when I called the funeral home last week, they said, yeah, we can get you a bill, but it's not paid. It's not paid in full yet. So I had to go in and go ahead and get that paid off in full with her account that I had my name on there too. Um, I had to go ahead and get that paid off in full. Um, so I just got that in the mail Saturday. So I need to get up with the lawyer. Um, well, I got a fax. I'm going to fax it over to him, but I'm going to call him and let him know that it's coming his way. Um, there was a couple other things he said that he would like to have if we could find them. If not, it's fine. Um, I think the sales value or tax value tax value he wanted but if we could find it but we couldn't find out any we couldn't find anything with the tax value on it um and I think there was something else but he said that wasn't really important um but I did find the I did get the um the funeral invoice in so I will be faxing that over to him once we can get that taken care of and that's that's cleared away then we can get start the, the process of getting the Jeep in Annie's name so that he can drive that back and forth to work instead of driving my car every day to work. So that's another step forward. <laughs> um, so that's what's going on. Um, yeah. I don't think I can think of anything else. I'm looking around the room hoping something will spark something, but it's not. Anyway, I guess y'all heard about as much as y'all want to hear today. I will go ahead and do my pick my three pick one questions. Um, I am getting this out of, getting them out of this book that I got from Target a while back. It is by Piccadilly. Um, if you want to go in and find it online somewhere, pencil. And what I do, I just randomly turn to a page and just wherever my, my eye lands, that's the question that I would answer. So let's see, network or socialize? I'm not good at networking, but I'm also not great at socializing either. I don't know. I don't know I, I i guess i would rather do socializing like in person because just like with having to take care of important tasks and stuff i'd rather do it in person than on the phone of course i would rather do it online than in person if i didn't have to actually physically go somewhere i don't know i'm, I'm kind of of two minds on the thing so 
I don't know. That's, that's a tough one. Because I'm not really a go out and do any, do stuff kind of person. Um, but I suck at keeping up and keeping in touch with people. We'll just say network. We'll just say network. Um, next question. I don't even know what that means. What's the next one? Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? I guess Mortal Kombat. I don't know. Have I ever really played Street Fighter? I don't think I've ever actually played Street Fighter. I played Mortal Kombat like just like everybody at some point in my youth, my teenage years, I played it. So we're just gonna go with Mortal Kombat. I liked the movie. The movie that came out recently, I thought that was pretty decent. So, Friends or Seinfeld? Oh my God. For one, and this is this might lose me some followers, and I'm gonna have to say my truth. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I think Friends is overrated. Sorry. Um, so I guess if I had to pick between the two of them, like if there was only two channels, one channel played Friends 24 hours a day, one channel played Seinfeld 24 hours a day. I guess I would choose Seinfeld. I used to watch Seinfeld occasionally. Um, like if it would come on late at night or something. Um, so we're, yeah, we're gonna go with Seinfeld. So, but that's my three questions. Um, I do them to, you know, for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So, but that is going to do it. I know I've rambled on way long enough. Um, as far as stitchy stuff, stitchy plans, I don't have any. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to take part in any, uh, any more challenges because that really, honestly, truly, it kind of overwhelmed me having to keep so many projects out that I was trying to get progress on. Um, because trying to get 100, 100 stitches or 200 stitches, I was having to pull out projects um, and only work on them for like a couple of days. Um, and then being like kind of in the time crunch of a two week span of, of getting these things done. Um, so that's why I don't do challenges. That's why I don't do challenges. Even something like um, Whipgo is kind of stressful for me because I know, okay, I've made a promise to myself. I've made a commitment to myself and to the cross stitch community in general um, to get this much done in a year. And having having to work on 24 projects 24 projects so that's why even something like whip i still get a little bit overwhelmed um i just work better in stitching what i want when i want whenever i get the mood to stitch so but i have these three out um I've been thinking about whether or not I want to pull out the Supernatural style again. We'll see. I'm still kind of a little salty about how that thing's, how, how that style is being handed, handled, how that style is being handled. Um, she did just release um, part six, part six yesterday, which was, three three or four days late like three days late I think um and this is coming after she said that she finished the design you know she's she's not gonna make any more changes the design is finished it's ready to go and she doesn't it, every every part is ready to go on time and part six is three days late a lot of people in that group it's yarn floss and yarn fairy or floss fairy i don't know 
but um, a lot of people in that group. Um, there, there are several of us, at least, who are getting a little bit um, annoyed, who have been a little bit disappointed with how the sale is going, how it's being handled. So I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. So um, I still, I still want to do the sale. Um, but I'm one of them people, I hold a grudge for a while. So, if I get any stitching on it, I'll get some stitching on it, um, whenever the mood strikes me. Um, but I have the parts, um, every month when she does release the next part, she'll release just that part and then she'll release another, and she'll have another file with all of the, um, all the parts together like like one through four or um, when part five came out it was one through five um and then with this latest release part six she has um a file with the pattern for parts one through six all in one so um yeah i i'll do it um I will eventually pick it up again, but I have, I just haven't been, um, really feeling it right now, so, plus I have, I have other things to worry, to work on too, so, um, so that's gonna do it for today, um, I apologize that there's gonna be some, some cuts in there, and, um, long and rambly. Cause I was just, I was, I kept getting like a tickle in my throat for some reason. And I don't know why. It just, and, it, and as much as I tried to fight it, I had to, what you guys didn't see was I did have to go, I did, I did have to do some serious coughing. Um, but that's going to do it for now. It's 117. <laughs> It's a halfway between the three and the four. Um, so I am going to get my stuff picked up. Um, and you'll be home in about an hour. Um, get my stuff picked up. And hopefully get some quick editing done on this video. Um, and uh, try to figure out a way to, to fax this thing over to the lawyer. Because at one point I did subscribe to something where you could do it where you could just take a picture of the thing and send it fax that way to the number. Um, but it was a subscription. And I canceled the subscription like a couple weeks after. But I don't know if this subscription is still active yet or not because I don't know if it's been a month. I don't know if I don't know if it's if it's come up to or past the subscription date. You know what I mean? So, um, and if I can't do it that way, I'm gonna have to go out, um, down the road and, um, get them to fax something from, um, is it Staples? Office Depot? I think it's Staples. I, whatever the office store is down the road there, in the next town over. Um, but, so, yeah, I did, um, leave the restaurant. Um, I did quit the restaurant. Um, there was just, there were some things going on that, like, the way they were treating some people and business decisions that they were making that I didn't exactly agree with um and so i i left and like i said i like i said earlier i have been doing instacart and i've been doing that more um i've, I've been trying to do it three or four like a couple of evenings after andy gets home but then sundays too because sunday is a really good day um Saturdays are kind of iffy on whether or not I do it or not. Um, just a couple of days a week. I've been trying to do it a few days a week. And I've been doing pretty good. 
Um, I did it for a few hours on, I think I did a couple hours on this past Wednesday and a couple hours on Friday, I think, yeah. And then I went out Saturday to try to see if, um, cause there was some errands I needed to run, but I was like, well, if any Instacart orders come through, maybe I'll do it if it's good enough. And nothing ever came through that I liked. So I didn't actually do any Instacart orders on Saturday. And I went out and hit it hard yesterday on Sunday and did pretty stinking well. So um, I made about $200, um, a little over $200 for the week. And that's active hours. When I say active hours, I mean from the time that you accept the order because you can have a list of orders come through um, that are available, but you take the ones that you want. You accept the ones that you want. Um, from the time that you accept the order um, until the time that you drop it off and um, swipe to complete delivery, um, that's your active time. Um, and I think my active time for this past week was eight hours and it was either like eight hours and 15 minutes or eight hours and 45 minutes. I know Andy figured it up last night and he said it was about $15 and it, it, at, it equaled up to about $15 an hour. Um, but that was just active hours. That wasn't hours that, that wasn't time that I was like between orders where I was driving or waiting around or whatever. Um, but I do pretty good on it and you put, you get out what you put in. So, um, obviously if I only want to do it, say on a Tuesday evening or in a Friday evening after Andy gets work, after Andy gets home from work, maybe I might be able to pull 80 to to $100 for those couple of days, depending on what orders come through. So I've been doing that. Um, so that's why I haven't been home as much to do stitching. Um, that's taken away from time. And also, like I mentioned, I with the cleaning videos I've been watching, it's inspiring me to do more cleaning <laughs> and to do more um, organizing and just tackling different things. Um, so I've been spending my time doing that. So, um, and, and stitching is really like, it's a, it's a secondary thing to me, I guess you could say. Um, it's just, it, it happens when it happens. <laughs> so, but that really is all I have for you guys today. Um, I'm sorry this video is so long and rambly. This is what you get with me. Um, and... If there's any new subscribers here, um, <laughs> if you're still here, you hung in there and you're, you're a trooper. And so if you can sit through this, then you can probably sit through anything I put up. So, but that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you have a good week and, um, until I see you guys again next time, be good. Bye guys.